Only on to this evening, a disabled veteran claims he's being treated unfairly when it comes to his employment. From wrongful termination to shady hiring practices, he claims that he's faced plenty of adversity and now he's taking legal action. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has his story. This is a man who served his country. This is a man who is a disabled veteran. This is a man who says he can't get a fair shake when it comes to his employment. And he has filed two lawsuits trying to rectify that. I was belittled and berated for being a disabled veteran. At 36, Robert Jones is unemployed. He's also a father of eight. You heard that right. In the Army, then Navy, his military career ended suddenly during a training exercise in 2007. There was an explosion, wasn't there? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, sus uh, I sustained uh, a blast injury. Um, yeah. That part of the story, while hard to talk about, is important because from that point, Jones has struggled, quite frankly. He has permanent uh, scars uh, and permanent physical changes to his body because of the explosion. Uh, he also had, is diagnosed with a PTSD type syndrome. A paramedic by trade for years with the Port of Houston, Jones claims in a lawsuit he was ridiculed, ostracized, and eventually illegally fired by the Port of Houston Fire Department. So I was literally trying to jump ship. I was in a bad environment. I was trying to get away from it. That opportunity, he thought, was with Pearland's Fire Department. Only that didn't work out either. He says because his old colleagues talked them out of it. Now there's a second lawsuit. The uh, case against the City of Pearland Fire Department is for wrongful failure to hire. Um, we're alleging that they refused to give him full consideration. Jones is seeking an undetermined amount of money in each suit. I mean, it must be incredibly stressful point in your life right now. Uh, this is the probably the lowest I've ever been. The Port of Houston tells us they do not comment on pending lawsuits. The city of Pearland did send us a statement, and here's the crux of it. The city of Pearland denies all allegations made by Mr. Jones and is ready to defend that position. The city is an equal opportunity employer with an objective hiring process. In Pearland, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. And if you have a story for KPRC2 Investigates, call the tip line at 713-223-TIPS or send them an email to investigates at kprc.com.